Hello and welcome to another edition of SideQuest. Today we are having another preview episode of one of the games that we might be streaming on the show. This is going to be part one of Bound by Flame. This is by a development group called Spiders. Um, they are also working on a new game. I'm not certain what it is yet, but I am looking forward to seeing it. This game is probably one of the more underrated games on the PS4. Not a lot of people have heard about it. It's pretty hard to find. But um, I had it on PS3, had it on PC, and then decided to pick it up on PS4. Uh, just to see what the differences are. So it does kind of have PS3-ish graphics. I will give it you that. Uh, the graphics are not up to par with the PS4 platform. But it is a pretty good game, pretty good story. Um, so I look forward to showing you this hour and a half of Bound by Flame. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to head over to gsch.info slash sidequests. If you like this game and want to see me play more of it, go on over to our YouTube and hit that like button. The videos with the most likes are going to be the ones that we stream. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get started. I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan. The peoples of the world had been fearfully whispering about the Ice Lords for the past ten years, though of course, they had been present long before then. The Deadwalker army, an endless horde of undead creatures under the Ice Lord's command, swept down from the mountains in the north, annihilating all resistance on the continent. Each battle only served to swell their ranks with the defeated dead, and the bloodless world seemed ready to sink into an endless ice age where there would be no place for the living. There were a few who still tried to stand against the invaders. The elves, who had hitherto remained neutral, and the red scribes, a small group of scholars who believed their knowledge might be able to tip the scales. The scribes had recently engaged the services of a group of mercenaries known as the Freeborn Blades, a renowned company who would become even more so after these events. The Blades were to protect them while they performed a ritual which was intended to change the course of the war. Great scouts. You can smell them from 50 yards away. Here we go. And the captain wanted me to stay and set up camp. I didn't join the Freeborn Blades to stack pots and dig latrines.
But he knows that. He knows his men. And he knows his powder master just hates hanging around. <laughs> Setting up camp. Now that's what I call being useful. <laughs> I honestly believe we'd stay out of this damn war till the end. Well, looks like the end just showed up. The Ice Lords have really done it this time. All of Vertiel is on the brink. Nothing is going to stop the Dead Walkers. Soon there won't be a town left to fall back to. Or even a tavern where you can spend your pay. There's no one left to turn back this filthy, stinking tide. Even if it were possible. Let's hope our beloved employers can deliver on their promises. If their famous ritual thing doesn't pan out. We're gonna be left standing here with our asses in our hands. Bunch of chatty priests playing sorcerer's apprentice against seven immortal mages? Sounds great. Anyhow, you have to fight fire with fire, so they say. Damn it. They're already here. I better warn the others. Fast. Enjoy your stroll? Get over here and tell me about it. By the looks of you, I'm guessing it wasn't just a quiet stroll. So, what did you see? The Dead Walkers are already close. I got one of their scouts. God damn it, Vulcan! I've told you a hundred times, recon means observing and reporting, not charging in and fighting without thinking. I didn't want to alert all of the others before we were ready for them. But what if they'd have killed you? Then you wouldn't have been able to alert us before they were ready to attack us. Think for a second. God's blood! We have to get ready for them. Now that you've finally got your ass back over here, you can prepare some traps. Get Peeler to help you place them around the temple. That'll give us some time, and we'll hear them coming. Yes, sir, Captain. And if you have questions, you know where to find me. Three months without a chance to spend my pay. I'm sick of this goddamn. That should do it. I'll give all these to Peeler. He'll figure it out. Dang loss. Now that sounds. Hey, Peeler, give me a hand, will you? We've got to prepare the area before it gets overwhelmed with walking corpses. We need a little something to welcome our Deadwalker friends. Booby trap all the access points. And try not to blow yourself up. <laughs> Don't sweat it, I can handle it. I'm not kidding. If you lose an arm, I'm the one who will get shit about it.
toddlers are here. Now! Drive them back! We must hold the esplanade. Oh, shite. Here come more of them. We'll see how Buffalo is getting along with the scribes. He's meant to be guarding their invoking chamber. Huh? But can't... Get out of here! And go find Pila for me while you're gone. I'll give you butt, Captain. Right. Are you coming or what? Everything okay, Buffalo? As long as I can hear the mumbling, everything is okay. One of those dead things managed to get as far as here, but I killed it before it could interrupt them. That's good news. 
The captain's holding the front entry. Hawk's on the west wing. I got the east. Got any idea where Peeler is? I think I saw him over on the east side. You should find him if you head over there. Thanks. Hope he's still in one piece. And, uh, you might want to check inside the invoking room. We just came across some specters. Those things can go straight through walls, and they might get in there without asking you first. Is that so?
Falcon! I need some help here! There's too many of them, and I got this stupid scribe under my feet! You, scribe! Get back in the chamber with the others! You can't protect us and keep wandering around. Pretty sure that jerk would have gotten you killed. No shit. Next time be more careful, okay? I talked with the captain. He wants to see you. Oh shit. Positions lost. Retreat! Everyone fall back to the invoking room and fast!
Concentrate. We almost have it. Well, now, that must be the fifth time I heard him say that. This stupid ritual is taking too goddamn long. Oh, shit. Here come the hobblers. You gonna be all right? I'm fine. Worry about those dead walkers. Hey! Are you hurt, Buffalo? For now, you just have to wait for the crowds. Got it, Sergeant. I'll keep the hobble busy. Eliza shouldn't do that. Stay away from my daughter! I shall not let thy weakness be our downfall.
What just... did I... how did I do that? Hey, Captain! I think it's time we talked about a promotion. We don't have time for this, Vulcan. We need to move out before the rest of them get here. The passes are probably crawling with them already. There's a passage to the other side of the mountain. It will lead us to the swamp. The swamp? That sounds fun. Uh, hey, did anybody see what I just did to that huge fucking monster? I mean, seriously, I fried that thing. I saved our asses and you're all just, hey, what's for lunch? I said shut it, Vulcan. Thou didst flee. What the? Thou didst hold the power to face the necromancers, yet thou didst flee. I had no choice. No choice? Hast thou even thought of choosing? Thou art fled like a thief, and hast left me, a shadow of myself, trapped here in this dark prison. I did not create this situation. I am not even sure I understand what has happened. The hour for questions is past. Thou must act. It is I who will suffer for thy cowardice. I who will pay for thine fault. I who will face extinction. And if I must die, if the flame is extinguished, our world will die as well. I will not let the flame die. I am in a war against these necromancers. And at last, I have the power to fight them. What dost thou hope to accomplish in this ridiculous human shell? As it is now, it is useless to us. The flame is not a toy for mewling infants. It exists to reign. Its power must not be stolen from thee. We must reconquer the world heart as swiftly as we may. Hey, Vulcan, enough of your daydreaming. Move your ass, huh? Buffalo? Vulcan, you hear me? Pull your finger out. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. My head feels like a bomb went off in it. Well, shake it off. We're still not at the end of this stinking swamp, and I'm not gonna carry you all the way to the village. By the way, how come Hawk isn't the one here with me? He's the lead scout. I always go with him. Hawk is covering the back of the line. So this time, I'm the one who goes with you. You'll get over it. Why do I get the feeling I'm under surveillance? You think nobody noticed your little stunt at the temple? Damn right we're watching you. Now shut your trap and keep an eye on our perimeter, while I keep an eye on you. And while the captain has a nice chat about me with the Red Scribes. It'll be a lot easier to talk to those two-faced snakes without you hanging around. Don't worry about it. He'll tell you what you need to know. And if he doesn't tell you, then I will. Thanks, Sarge. Let's get moving before everybody catches up. You lot are about as discreet as a herd of hunchbacks. I thought that elves were supposed to have superior eyesight. 
Do we look like stiffs to you, dickhead? Not yet. But with an arrow sticking out of your throat, I'm certain that even a chatterbox like you could do a passable impression. And you'd be the next one down. Possibly. Perhaps I should aim for the largest target first. Not if you want to keep both your balls. What have we here? Buffalo in person. Well, that's a good sign. What's going on here? Who's the scrag with the pointy ears? Thanks for noticing. I try to keep them sharp. I am called Relmar. And I gather the red-faced fat belly with the filthy beard is none other than the famous Elric, leader of the Freeborn Blades. They call me the Captain. All the Freeborn Blades call you Captain Elric. I have no doubt that they do. As for me, I've never had much interest in titles or in military protocol. I judge people by their deeds. And what are you doing down in the swamps, besides threatening honest mercenaries? Looking for you. Well, I began by searching for the Red Scribes. Prince Arundel is wounded. We had to withdraw to Valvanor, where I learned that you were expected. I just wanted to make sure you found your way there. This is not my first walk in the wilds, Arsewipe. As you can see, I'm on the right path, and we've nearly reached our destination. Captain, those creatures I told you about this morning are gathering nearby. They're probably getting ready to attack us. Ah, well those are called chrysalids. They wait until they have gathered enough numbers, and then they overwhelm you. And it would seem your little group is attracting a whole swarm to the village. Well, we'll give them a welcome. Actually, in spite of themselves, these creatures do an excellent job of keeping dead walker scouts away without raising any suspicions. If we allow them to gather here and then massacre them, I fear we'll be moving their territory a bit too close to Valvanor, which will lead to our being discovered sooner or later. I suggest we send one or two men back. This will keep them separated and occupied while the rest make it to the village. I'm ready to volunteer. If you fear I might try and slip away, I know the area well. Sounds like a plan to me. Vulcan, you're on it. I want to go too. I... The animals and plants in this swamp are extraordinary. And the venom of these chrysalids seems very interesting. I'd love to get a chance to observe them more closely. Sybil, that is out of the question. Have you lost your mind? It's too dangerous. This is brave of you, little girl, and I'm sure you fight well. But on this little walkabout, you'd better let somebody who knows the area well lead the way. Hey, Relmar, if you're feeling up to facing a few bug-eyed freaks, let's get going. By all means. Don't forget, I'm the one with the pointy ears. All right, we'll see you in the village. No dicking around, Vulcan. No dicking around, Captain.
I spotted several creatures, chrysalids for the most part. Let's try to avoid attracting their attention. Not that way. We need to go down and then turn left. Let's keep going. We're almost there.
village is on our right. He's fucking fearless. Let's help him out before it goes bad for him. Despite his determination, the knight was in an awkward position. He thanks the mercenary for having assisted him in his task. If he can trust the rumors that he hears around the village, he has before him one called Falcon. He has the pleasure of welcoming the mercenary to the village. And you are? The knight is called Ranva, last survivor of the Order of the Amber Knights. Now, protector of Valvenor, this village. The new arrival is most welcome, but the steward is waiting in the old village inn. This is Valvenor. It is not a beautiful place, but for the time being, it seems to be unknown to the Deadwalker army. This village has known better days. Before the war, it was popular among the rich hunters who came to enjoy the ample game in the swamps. Today, the only visitors are refugees, who are sadly too numerous for the scant resources of the village. 
A small healing house provides comfort and succor to the injured. The knight is quite fond of Mirana, the healer who runs the place. Does the mercenary see the building opposite? It was once an inn, but it is now the residence of the steward, the man now in charge of the village. The inn was used as a hunting lodge before the war began. Many rich people used to come here to relax. With any luck, we might get to sleep in a real bed tonight. I'm going. Here we go. Another one of these hick refugees. There's nothing for you here. Call me a hick one more time, and I'll be using your face as an anvil. An idea which has a definite aesthetic appeal, I must say. Uh, let's all remain calm, shall we? Please forgive my error. With all this commotion and all the thankless tasks I find myself confronted with, I often find my attention to detail slips. So, what can I do for you? Show me what you have for sale. Ah, gold. So vulgar to work with. So wonderful to own. Swamp is our best defense. Happily, the wildlife are just as keen on attacking the dead walkers as they are the villagers. But the situation here in Valvanor grows worse daily. And each new wave of refugees increases the risk of drawing unwanted attention to this jungle. No Ice Lord scouts who find this village will ever escape to tell the tale. Of that, I can assure you. Also, my men are reinforcing your defenses. Forgive me for saying, but you have some serious weak points. Especially the defenses around that refugee camp of yours. The arrival of the Freeborn Blades and the Red Scribes has greatly improved our chances of survival, Captain. Believe me when I say that we are most grateful to have you with us. Needless to say, your men and the Red Scribes are welcome and free to go where they will. But as for any other newcomers, our gates are closed. You must understand that our food stores are as limited as our abilities to defend our village. Until you arrived, we had but one person who was even vaguely capable of treating our injured. And the case of Prince Orendil was completely beyond her skills. And there is this beast story. Doubtless another fairy tale, the fruit of an alcohol-addled brain. Nonetheless, several of the watch have gone missing. Something hidden in these swamps is causing these disappearances, but we cannot risk sacrificing any more of the few men remaining to us on sending patrols. Large groups entail moving chrysalids that are unmanageable. The others quite simply do not return. <sighs> Silence. 
If I were to listen to everyone, I would need ten times the number of men I have to verify the truth of every tale. Enough! You must aid me to do this. I am not able to do that. Your endless wailings are unbearable. In the name of... Vulcan? But, by the gods, man, what is... This world is condemned. The cold hath invaded its ground, its souls, and its heart. Yet here you stand, waving your limbs like fish taken from the water. Miserably shuffling about to conserve the illusion of warmth and life, and not feel the passing of your last breath. While I must endure your wailings and lamentations. Vulcan, stop this nonsense immediately. It is not she who speaks. All doth fall to ruin about you, yet you still bewail your loose bowels and vomitings. You cannot vanquish your dead walkers. No more than you can vanquish their necromancer masters. They draw their power from the very heart of the world. They drink it. They suckle it dry. Your only chance to cleanse what your own hath corrupted is to go to the world heart and liberate it from its servitude. The world heart is a myth, a forgotten fairy tale, no more real than dragons or dwarves. A myth? Continue hiding behind thy puny barricades, and thou wilt soon join thy myths and fairy tales. Cease your pretense. I know you have returned to consciousness. What the hell happened? I was just listening to the steward blabbing away with a captain, and then... And then you lost control. I don't know. It's like something in my head zapped me so it could use my mouth. But I was still there, still thinking what I was saying. This is not the first time you have felt this presence manifest itself. No. It's been there since the temple. It's also in my dreams, I think. Hmm, interesting. It would seem that your body is host to some other entity. And it is clearly a spirit of fire. No kidding. I've got a demon in my head. Something of the kind. In truth, I could not say what it is. Not yet, at least. Don't make me laugh. After all, it's you and your disciples that let this thing out of its cage, right? That has nothing to do with it. Do you have any idea of the implications of this incident? If it happens again a couple of days from now, they'll all start spitting and throwing rocks at me. I guess I'll have to watch out. I fear that is the least of your worries. Obviously, you haven't understood. The thing that is inside you, it wishes you ill. There is not enough space inside you for two souls. That demon wants your body. It will control you more and more until it has replaced you completely. Ha! Thou thinkest I crave the body of a mortal? I am a prisoner here. My place is in the world, heart. It will not hesitate to lie to you, to tell you that which you wish to hear, so that you will allow it to consume you. I never asked for this cage. I never asked to be forced to hear thy every thought. It is I who have been invaded. It speaks to you. Do not listen to it. Cast it from you. If you do not resist, it will crush your soul. Hey, take it easy. One at a time, huh? <sighs> I'm gonna go take a walk. Miss Vulcan, what brings you here? The captain wants me to help your village. You got a job I can do? With our shortages of food and fighting men, our worn-out equipment and the growing lines at the healing house, I cannot deny our village is sorely in need of help. Sadly, I fear that these are not the sort of problems you are used to dealing with, unless I'm much mistaken. 
Maybe I'll surprise you. So what's the problem with the healing house? Quite simply, Mirana cannot keep up. She spends every waking minute giving out supplies to the refugees and refuses to admit that she cannot help everyone. She thinks she's fooling me. I have heard rumors that her food stock is running low. Unsurprisingly, the crowds outside are becoming restless. I believe they wish to continue handing out our food reserves as though they were unlimited. This is not the case, and thus, it is not an option. So, you want someone to put her down? Why, I never suggested any such thing. I just wish she would see reason, for all our sakes. But I have asked nothing of you. I was merely answering your question. We'll talk again later. Alright everyone, that's where I'm going to have to leave you for today's episode of Side Quest. This is Beyond Bound by Flame. This is part one of the series. Um, if you guys like this, head on over to YouTube after the show and uh, hit that like button. The video with the most likes will be the one that comes up next when we have an open slot. Uh, next week on Friday, we will be starting Uncharted 4. Look forward to showing you that game. It's getting really good reviews right now. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Head on over to gsch.info slash sidequests and leave me some feedback or uh, some comments on the show. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time.